Hey guys, and welcome back to Duncan Rampa. So we just finished up the night, and we have a special announcement. So I am school announcement, school announcement. Nighttime is quickly approaching, but before it arrives, all students please gather in the gym immediately. All right, so we just met up at the dining hall earlier, and now we have an emergency. Okay. So, let's go check out what we have to do here. So, why all of a sudden gather at the gym? I don't really like the sound of this. I have a terrible feeling. Let's go check out what's going on. It didn't seem like anything was too crazy, right? Anyways, let's talk to Kyokyo here. So, oh, Kyokyo, did you hear the announcement just now? Yes. Uh, I don't want to go, but we don't have any other choice, right? So I can't imagine it's going to be good news, but it's not a good idea to defy him here and now. So, I'm going on ahead. I can't really do anything except what Monokuma tells me to. Alright, so now we're going to the dining hall? Or was it the gym? I think it was uh, the gym, but let me take a look. Yo, man, uh, you about to head in? Oh, it looks like it's the dining hall, sorry. Yeah, has everyone gone ahead inside? Looks that way. I don't like it, but nothing's good gonna come from ignoring that goddamn bear. Uh, Mondo? Are you sure you're okay? You kinda went all out at that sauna. Uh -huh. Huh? Who went all out? That shit doesn't even phase me. But you know, <laughs> there's an edge of hell. A promise between men's was waiting for me. Nothing, so I never saw it coming. Anyways, let's get our asses into the gym. Man, something unique must have happened between the two of them. Ooh. All right, now we're going to make our way to the dining hall. I have a bad feeling about this, but I better just get over it and get to the gym. Oops, sorry. I meant, I knew it was the gym. So, <laughs> my bad. All right, so now we need to get over to the gym, which is right over here. It's not too far. Let's make our way down, downtown. On this way, over to the left. And over to this area. Alright, let's see what we have in store here. Okay, so uh, let's just go in and we don't really need to talk to that guy, right? Right? Okay, so asking us to gather together all of a sudden like this, what could he possibly want? Indeed, what might await us this time? <laughs> He keeps things interesting, that's for sure. All right, all right, Byakuya. How is that funny? Can't you smile like a normal person once in a while? Like how the housewife in a classic TV show smiles at the end of an episode. Like that stereotypical like Brady Bunch thing. There's something totally messed up with you if you can laugh at a time like this. <laughs> Which of us is actually messed up? Hmm, all right. Interesting. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Nothing in particular, just admiring, that's all. Woo! -hoo! I don't want to kill anyone, but I also don't want to stay here, living in a blind denial day after day. <laughs> I was just admiring how you could live like that and still keep your sanity. I'm not in denial. <laughs> that's kind of denial. That reminds me. Remember how you kept talking about how the police or whoever would come help us? How did that turn out? It seems to me there's no sign whatsoever of possible rescue. That's just... I wonder what actually happened. Yeah, we've been here for like, what? A week? A week and a half, maybe? It's strange, that's true. There's no way the police wouldn't know about it. We're right in the middle of an urban, major urban area. The police suck. All right, well, there you go, Hufumi. Thank you. On the contrary, the mastermind may be just that powerful to take control even of the police. Oh, this might not be related, but... Then don't say it. Nope, gonna say it. It's about last night. I was near the main hall, just starting or staring in, off into space. When all of a sudden, I heard it. You heard what? A sound that I don't really know what it was. What kind of sound? Well, like I said, I don't really know. 
But if I had to describe it, it was like a construction site, I guess. A construction site. I mean, I could just be making that up. I only just barely heard anything. <laughs> then you definitely made it up. Must have just been the sound of the ocean in that head of yours. Say what? What'd you talk about, Toko? What the? Who the fuck? Here we go. Well, I mean, that was a cool entrance, I thought. He's arrived. What Hiro heard wasn't the sound of construction, but it could have been an explosion. Ah. Or maybe a machine gun. Poo -hoo -hoo -hoo. That can kind of sound like a construction in a way. What are you talking about? Beyond this point, my mouth is zipped. My lips are sealed, and I am fully puckered. It's a secret little secret. Fine then, let's move on to what you can tell us. Why did you call us here? You don't beat around the old bush, do you? Ready for me to get to the point, huh? But before that, you mind if I vent a little? I'm low on energies these days. My stitching's even loose all, or losing all of its shine and luster. I'm thinking it's probably because of this ho-hum, boring old everyday life. I'm looking for something with a little more stimulation. Something rife with danger and intrigue. Listen, can I just be frank? No, I want to be frank. Wait, wait, wait. The next Blackened hasn't shown up yet, and I'm getting bored. So, I've decided to come up with a new way to motivate you. Alright, so, last time, he motivated us by taking all of our family members, or people that cared about us, and basically insinuated that they're going to get hurt if we don't do anything. Alright, here we go. So, motivate us. Is there another set of videos or something? Are you going to show us some demented things to try and drive us all to murder? Drive you to murder? What a mean thing to say. Just awful. I don't know what you got planned, but we're not going to kill each other anymore. No matter what you do, I swear to God we won't. Mm, that's very big talk. Do your very best to back it up, okay? Now then, with your permission, let us begin. So this time it's... Embarrassing memories and secrets. Ooh. All right, so we're going to embarrass us to death. As long as you're alive, it's a given that there's things that you don't want other people to know about you. So I did a little investigating of my own, and I dug up some of your darkest, dankest secrets. Ooh. And these embarrassing memories and secrets are all contained in the envelopes I have right here. What the heck is this? Secret memory? Embarrassing memories? What? Are we gonna, like, randomly choose one? I'm going to hand them out now, so... Take a second to take a look. As Manakuma spoke, he tossed the envelopes at her feet. I quickly snatched the envelope with my name written on it. I nervously pulled out what was written inside, and my entire body suddenly went rigid. Makoto wet the bed until he was in the fifth grade. I mean, that's not that bad. I, I, I did that. <laughs> what? How? How did you find out about this? Everybody started talking at once. You have 24 hours. If someone doesn't become blackened by then, all of your deepest, dankest, darkest, most embarrassingest secrets will be exposed to the world. Oh, wait, to the world. Ooh. Ah. Maybe I'll roll by a crowd in or a crowded intersection with a van strapped with loudspeakers and spill the beans. Yeah, wouldn't that be so embarrassing? So that's what you meant by motivate. I mean, in terms of Makoto, it's not that bad. <laughs> yep, you got it. They're all pretty unpleasant. Trust me, none of you want me to reveal that stuff, right? It's definitely something I'd rather people not know, but I it's Makoto, it doesn't it doesn't really matter. We'd never kill over something like that. What'd you say? 
He's right. Your plan is doomed to fail. No one's going to murder something over something like this. Oh, no. Is it because for better or for worse, your memory is still a way to connect to the outside world? I have stuff I wouldn't want anyone to know matter, no matter what. So I assumed we'd all be the same. Which is why I put so much effort into preparing this next motive. Man, you're saying you really won't kill each other over this stuff? That just sucks. Well, what can you do? Okay, then in the next 24 hours, I'll expose all of your secrets just to make myself feel a little better. Hi. So sorry, so depressed, fare not well. With an almost convincing look of depression dejected on his face, Monokuma receded into the gym's depths. I don't know what to expect at first, but maybe we dodged a bullet on this one. I mean, yeah, having those uh, secrets revealed is going to be totally embarrassing, but that's seriously not enough to give someone a reason to kill, right? Well, which one of them has uh, a super dark and... The, wh which one has the the most damned secret, really? Why don't we all just confess the secrets in those envelopes right here and now? That makes a good idea. Kyo, Kyotaka, Ishimaru, good idea. If we do that, any and all motive for murder will vanish. That's pretty smart, right? So, my embarrassing thing is... I don't want to hear your stupid story. What? Besides, I don't want to talk about it. I don't care what anyone else says, I don't want to talk about mine. Neither do I, not because it is unpleasant, but because it is impossible. Well, it's just human nature to just want to hear what it, you say is impossible. Come on, it'll be good for you. Absolutely not. It's okay, just a little bit. Come on, come on. As I said. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I said I don't want to talk about it, you human bag of lard. Alright, well. There's two people that don't really want to talk about it. It's the two girls, Celeste and Hifumi. And I Hifumi. I don't know the other, the other girl, the glasses girl. So I agree with them. There's no need to discuss it. I disagree. Chihiro. Uh, so what do you think, Chihiro? I disagree with everybody besides Ishimaru. Sorry, I don't really want to talk about it right now. But I also don't want to leave things the way they are. So maybe I can talk about it later. After I try my best to become strong, then I can tell everyone. If you don't want to talk, you don't have to. I'm not super excited to talk about mine either. If everyone's that much against it, even if my bro is the one that suggested, I, I gotta say no. I think this is the wrong move. If this was like werewolf or something, this is a good place to start about their... If there's any motive, you gotta take it out right here and if it's just a secret, you probably can walk, look past it, right? Well, that's okay then. Either way, if it's just a few secrets, I'm sure nobody's going to kill anybody over it. I hope you're right. A secret so bad you kill someone to keep it. Nobody's got something like that, right? Okay, I'll stop with all the secret talk, but each of us has 24 hours to get ready. Having our secrets exposed isn't going to be fun. But it's not like we're going to die because of it. Just so you know, don't do anything hasty. The way you keep repeating it makes me worry even more. Okay, sorry. I know it's going to be tough, but... They should have reiterated that if you do try to kill someone to hide your secret, you will get... You could get caught and just die. You might as well just live with the embarrassment or whatever, even if it's like the worst thing possible. I mean, you're stuck in this. You're stuck in this school. You might as well just. It doesn't matter what the people outside know. All right. So this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it's officially nighttime. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams everyone, good night, sleep tight, don't let the bed bugs bite. Alright. Alright, night time already, huh? Okay, then let's call it a day. 
Good idea. We need to prepare for tomorrow. I left with anxiety. I just couldn't shake. But we left things as they were and left things as they lay. One by one, we headed back to our rooms. All right. Secrets are memories you don't want anyone to know about. A way to connect to the outside world. Honestly, all that crap Monokuma was spouting didn't have any effect on me. I mean, your secret is very PG. There's no way anyone would kill over stuff like that. At least that's what I thought. But maybe I was just being optimistic. Which is probably why, without too much of a struggle... Jeez, I'm more tired than usual. Super tired today. I fell asleep. But what I didn't know is that even then, a tragedy was taking place. Alright. With that, we probably know that someone was killed over a secret. So, what was the dankest secret that they had to keep uh, sealed? So, hey, do you have a second? I want to confide in you. It's about prevailing world attitude right now. The, definition, or the difference between passive and active, I mean. For example... It's the difference between, like, oops, I killed them, and yeah, that's right, I killed them. Amazingly, there's a ton of people who don't understand the difference. Can you believe it? There's a huge difference between oops and that's right. You know what I'm saying, right? Anyone can kill someone in the heat of the moment, but surprisingly, few can do it with calculated intent. So that's interesting. Basically, uh, he's arguing, what, the crime of passion, where in the heat of the moment anyone can do anything but to actually calculate and go through with the plan step by step takes a lot of of intellect to make that choice then to put it into action it's way harder than just letting your emotions lead you it's all about preparation resolve so maybe you're wondering what's the point of me or oh, i'm trying to make well i'm not totally sure myself but maybe you should try reading between the lines so basically he's saying emotions are way stronger than intellect, but intellect could go way further than in, in, in a case of a murder. All right. So morning. Good morning. Good morning. All right. But guys, that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. In the next episode, we're going to see presumably who was killed yesterday. And we will probably try to investigate. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. It does help me out a lot. And I will see you guys.